can at least I, I, if you if you wrong, at least be close. But that, you know what I mean? No, but, uh, I'm gonna tell you that that's different though. The no, reason, it ain't. The reason why I say that's different is because now you when you start throwing in an equation when you got the pluses and the minuses and then you got the parentheses and that's, you got the but, and and you got the the the, the multiplication can, sign. Can, but that's what. But what we talking that, about? No, is, that's what this is though. No, this is not. Yes, this, it is. This, this is no. What this is is what you said originally. This is one plus one plus one. One plus one plus one is just three. That's easy. You just look at those and add them up. When you start throwing in a, a add sign, a parentheses, a, 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 a X, a, a multiplication, dot, slash dot, uh, even, when you start throwing in all that, you, you, it didn't, get the, you didn't learn the, the, the please excuse my I, dear I know the, sound. Yeah, I know that. But that's not what this is. COVID is not, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. COVID is, COVID is just simple add. Just add. If it, if it if it if it if the answer ain't C, it ain't gonna get answered. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I just want us to stop politicizing all this thing. I, I just want us to stop politicizing COVID. Now I will tell you, and I just want us to stop the div- divisiveness from it. I will, we should I, not I, be divided about. I, I, I will tell you. I will tell you what effect it has had on me. I have to catch myself about um, not. I, I lose empathy. I, I'm bad. You know I'm mean? losing empathy. So you know you you hear stories you know of, you know people who might have been against wearing a mask or you Bro. know whatever and then you hear about them you know being in a in a in a in a messed up state with COVID or whatever it's it's hard to it's hard to be like you know what we're good for them it's if I say it's easy to be like well you yeah. know and move on and I think that's at the end of the day that's the real tragedy in all this like it's chipped away more and more at Having empathy for people. I'm gonna tell you this. So you know what I'm gonna tell you like this. Whether they're whether you whether you know they're wrong or not, it's still a person that's gonna be going through something. Man, look, I'm gonna tell you. So I don't wish death on nobody. Basically, what I'm I'm, saying. I'm gonna tell you about me. All right, here. So I used to go in Walmart, right? And Walmart used to have the mandate to where you had to wear a mask in Walmart. Mm -hmm. I've seen where people walked in without a mask. The person at Walmart, the greeter. God bless these souls with the tough job they do. They try to get the person wearing a mask. Now nah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. The green isn't gonna try to chase you down, right? They're not security. You ain't paying them enough. They're not security. <laughs> so you're gonna walk through Walmart and I just walk by those people and I'm like, I hope you get damn COVID. See, I did <laughs> hope it on. I did wish it on them. I'm and serious, I did. And, 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 and that's when you gotta be like, you know what? I didn't take it back either. <laughs> I went home messed up well. Because I was like, yo, fall. At, there are rules in place, yeah, people. Yeah. But that's when why you gotta... do people want to defy the? Why do you want to buck? Like, okay, I'm gonna give you. Okay, the same people who want to buck this system or buck the rule that says mask mandatory are the same people who get mad if someone, if, if a person of another, if a if a, if a person hops a turnstile oh, yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, and they say, "Oh, look at that thug the, doing the, thuggery the, stuff." The, the, the hypocrisy in it all is funny. So you talk about school and mask mandates. So, you know, I know this still to be true. Schools mandate how long or how short your how how long or how short your dress or your pants can be. I agree with that too. School though. mandates they school mandates what kind of hairstyle you have. See, now you better go to another subject. No, I'm just I'm not No, I'm, but now, now we got to go no, to another subject. But I'm, but I'm just saying I'm just saying how we fall in line to so much other things. So let me ask you a question. And then all of a sudden this particular article of clothing I, I know. is a problem. Yeah, like I like if they tell you that the only way you're going to get service in this store is if you have to wear shirt, shirt yeah. shoes and in shirts school, and shoes. In, in school, in s- schools, there's certain shirts you can't wear. You can't yeah. wear shirts that have certain kind of writings on. Hell, even when you're watching, even when you're watching BET or MTV or whatever, they block out the the, the logo. Polo, yep. They, you know, so if yeah. if it says Tommy Hilfiger Polo or whatever, they block that out. So even when we watching TV, there's certain things that they that. Are regulated to us on a daily basis. All right, so bring so, up that, right? So, so bring- what's so what's the problem with being be saying, you know what? For the short period of time that you're going to be in the store, for the short period of time that you're going to be, you know, in a workplace or whatever, to have the covering on. I I, I like to see people to have this on if they're going to be in the food industry moving <laughs> forward. When you think about it, yeah. I actually I had a coworker the other day. They had a birthday. And then they had candles and they blew on the candle. I was like, oh, hell, I don't want no cake. Like, I don't want no cake now. You better fade you know that damn cake. I don't, yeah, like, 
I'm good. <laughs> I'm like, you know what I mean? Because now you paying we paying right, you paying attention to stuff, right? Yeah, you're right. So even in the restaurant, you gotta wear a head a head net. Yeah. So now right. as a worker, you should have your mouth covered. Because when, when I think about it, I don't want you breathing over my food. I don't even the server. I don't want you breathing over when, my food when you come out there. So it's You're right. These things I think as a as a, as a society we have gotten we gotten away from simple stuff, simple hygiene. Yeah. You know how many times we've been in the bathroom, we've seen jokers use the bathroom and walk out oh, and go man. wash their hands. Dude, dude, you I'm, feel what I'm saying? I'm in quick trip. Like, <laughs> I'm in. Qu- I'm like in quick- ain't no way in the world your hands that, that dry that fast. I'm in quick trip. I'm in quick trip like a few. I'm I'm in quick trip like a few weeks ago, right? And the, and the dude comes out, the goes out the bathroom. And I see him, right? He goes out the, out of the bathroom. He doesn't wash his hands in the middle of a pandemic. And he goes straight to like the way the drinks are and just starts touching all the drinks like, I don't want that drink. I don't want that drink. You better get that damn drink. Yo, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted to find security. Yeah, we, like we, I wanted somebody to tackle this dude because he's assaulting the drinks right about we, now. We've got we've gotten so lax as a society, man. So things like this have got has was one able to spread, but then two to been able to maintain around because we as a society have refused to make the a, a a slight change. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, nothing... A slight change. Put a mask on. Wash your hands. Yeah. If I'm in line, don't be on top of me. I don't want you on top of me because I'm, push, I'm pushing in my pen code. But now we're in a pandemic. I need you behind... I need you six feet. Yeah. And I need you two more... I need you two more feet. I need you eight feet <laughs> so you don't see my dad. I'm doing my code. You know what I mean? You do your code like the I'm old... I'm doing my code like the old, like the old women. You like the do, old, do the money. <laughs> you do the money. You know, so... <laughs> So, but we've gotten last. We so we so used to people being up in our personal space. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I said before, I you never thought about people blowing out a cake or whatever. Yeah. But they blew the cake. I'm like, oh, I'm good, homie. I got never. I I, I, I'm straight, homie. Hey, hey, can you bring bring me another slice? I want another slice to my. I'll pay for it, but I want another slice because I don't want that slice. You know? <laughs> so you're it, right. It's that kind of stuff. But to me, it all goes back to critical thinking man we don't we don't to your one plus one plus one we don't do that and if you throw in any kind of variable hey that throws everybody off it's all all hell done broke loose then but, but we, <laughs> we don't need to be divided over this and and to to hear to hear conservatives and republicans start spewing from their mouth that this is political and that they're just trying to shut us all down again how are they trying to shut us down by telling you to get vaccinated, by telling you to wear a mask? They're not trying to shut us down. Well, you're trying to, sh- you're trying to shut us. I down. will, I will say this. At least it's not polio because we all be walking around here with canes okay. and stuff. Because, because if this was going on in nineteen, when did the polio shot come out? Nineteen twenty. When did it come out? Now that was like in the. 40s, in the 40s, 1940s and 50s, if this mentality was back then, there'd be a whole bunch of us walking around with knee braces and stuff. It's going to have to be that COVID does something to you that just like makes, your, that, makes your eyeball pop out or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> if I get COVID, my eyeball pop out. Oh, shoot. Now I'm going to get the vaccine. Hey, listen, at the end of the day, man, you, now I will, I will say this. Like with anything, you don't want to be the first. No. But you definitely don't want to be the last, because no. as 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 the funding and the money starts running out, yeah, you you're gonna wind up with that Johnson and Johnson joint. Right. <laughs> you know what? And you're, you're not gonna pay you, for it. You're not going Yeah, you had to start to pay for, for it. So you know, m- but, might as well get it now while. And I and you know what? I'm I'm here making sort of light of COVID because it is very it's serious, it, but it's it's trying on so many levels because I I. I know a lot of people who have lost family members and close family I members and dear family members. And, yeah. and I try to tell my people, you know, at first when COVID came out, I was like that. Man, COVID is like the flu. It's just the same as the flu, you know. But I'm telling you, man, I don't know anybody who's ever, in my 45 years of living, I don't know one person who died from the flu. But I know several people now who have died from COVID. And I'm saying that to tell people, man, take this thing seriously. Take go go get the vaccine, man. Go get the vaccine. Wear a mask. It's not gonna be. It's just gonna make you and uncomfortable, I'm you, but it's not gonna kill you to wear the freaking yeah. mask. And man. and Why are we fighting also this? now. This is what I would say to our people. Like we got to change our health style. We got to change how we live. So you know, and it's, I'm not telling people to turn around and tomorrow become a vegan or 
stop eating meat or whatever. A lifestyle change is is a habit and takes time. Yeah, you got to have a cause. And, and, and some of that, too, is also based on economics and, you know, where you yeah. at. You know, we live... I mean, even here in Atlanta, there are air parts of the city that are food deserts. Yeah. They don't have accessibility to, you know, fresh fruits in, in the grocery store. And, you know, they can get to one, but it's it's, it's a trek. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it takes a lot yeah, of whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, then you be in those areas, then you see a, a, a church's chicken pops up or some something that's convenient, but it's not healthy for you. You know what I mean? So you got that as well. Yeah. But we got to change the mindset as far as, also, how we how we treat our how we treat our bodies, man. You know what I mean. Do you think? Uh, so, let me ask you a question with this then. So, do you think? And and I know a lot of people don't like government control. I know a lot of people are, are against government 80% control. Eighty percent of what we do is government control. But go ahead. Do you feel that the <laughs> government should impose some type of rules and stipulations when it comes to the food and the things that we're allowed to consume? Like like. Some of these places, like I, I'm not gonna say churches chickens, because one, I'm not gonna say churches chicken because one day church, churches might want to sponsor me. Well, so, I'm a, <laughs> so I'm, yeah, I'm gonna leave off a church chicken. You you but, should not you should not be but, able to buy a but, two piece and the and the breast as big as it be as big <laughs> as the basket is in. <laughs> and you tell me that that's that hey, that piece of meat is. I just feel like I is just, healthy. I just feel the cholesterol from the honey butter biscuits, man. I just feel like. Those biscuits feel like death coming on. So the biscuits get you, not the chicken that's bigger than the basket that they put it in. You know what? <laughs> the chicken is so bland. The chicken is bland. It's like it's not seasoned well, but I'm just like like the chicken is bland. I just have to put nah, out the skin, but it's I, just a biscuit. I've been in like a situation death. where you know what? I got five dollars in my name. You got to get that two ninety nine will last me two days, baby. <laughs> I, know. I, I eat the wing now, cut the chicken in half. <laughs> it's like it, so. I'm, I'm saying this there. coming from a, a, a point of I've you know there. being on being on bad times. So yeah. I know, I, I know what it is. You know, I know what yeah. the struggle is. I, I mean, I, Popeyes come sponsor me so I can you know, talk bad about church and chicken. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm a I, 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 I'm a I'm a Reagan baby. So I know what the cheese that don't melt. I know what <laughs> I, know, I, I, know. I know what the milk just add water. Hey, I, I know I know what the king vitamin in the bag cereal and cereal in the in the, in the brown bag. The, the and actually, the cereal look like what you would probably got in Afghanistan. Yeah, cook it. <laughs> but, you know what I mean. The best you know. Do you do you remember this? All right, so so you know about the, the cheese that don't melt. Yeah, they, yeah. Made the, they made the, they made the best cheese toast sandwiches, but you might burn your damn cheese. You might burn, burn your the bread. whole house down. It'll still you, you burn your the bread. Block, that block still be there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so all right, so let me ask you: Do you remember this can? Right, I don't know if it was in the, if it was came with that. It was silver. It's yeah. a silver, silver can with a, yeah. with a pig on it. Yeah, and it, was, it was pulled pork in there. I grew that up. That made the best. That made me the best pulled pork sandwiches, though. I grew up. I grew up po. I, we didn't even have no OR. You can't even afford the OR. <laughs> we, <laughs> we have no OR, Pippin. I know what the struggle is. We the OR. <laughs> <It> was po. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I, I, just, I, I was like, I know I'm not fantasizing about this. I remember this can. A poor poor. I'm, I'm, na- I'm name. Name, I'm naming everything that Ronald Reagan gave out. Hell. The cheese. I'm the, telling you, man. The, the milk, the cereal. I think the government should do that the, again. The, the, the can that the basically what you call it because depending <laughs> on which can you got, you would you you, you, <laughs> you didn't know what you was gonna get. I think the government should go back to doing that because I'm like, hey, yo, if you go back to doing that, you're gonna get a lot of people off food stamps and people are gonna be like, yo, I need a job because if this is what y'all gonna feed me, I'm gonna I then, work. Then when you moved up, you was able to get the spam. <laughs> Like you, you didn't get spam. You, you, you done came up, baby. Now you make a good sale. You, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that spam jelly. Oh, God. With, with crackers, you good. You know what I mean. You, you done came up. <laughs> you, you, you doing something? You can walk around your nose in the air. I got spam in the house, baby. This should make you immune to COVID. If you <laughs> Listen, if you go, listen, if you go into, if you go into the corner store and you get that horny goat weed, <laughs> go get the shot. <laughs> Thank you. That, hey, I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for you. I said the same thing. If you go, if How you, you don't get the rhino pill at the at the, at the if store. If you go, if you go to the gas station and you buy and give me wings, I know. 
Get the COVID shot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you going there getting the rhino pill and talking about, I don't know what's in the COVID. You don't know what's in the I, rhino, I don't know man. if it ain't FDA approved. Know. You don't need what the F, the D, and the A stand for. I know. Go, go get the shot. <laughs> If you mix it, if you mix, if you use the mix, Hennessy oh. and uh and, well, and I, hypnotic, I, I, yeah, I, I, go get the I, I, shot. I, 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 <laughs> if you if you if you was making the Incredible Hulk back in the day, go get the we shot. Call it swamp water. If you were making swamp water, with you, the Hennessy and go, go, go get go get the shot, baby. I, I, yeah. I don't want to hear about it. I, I'm with you, man. I don't want to. Yo, what are you complaining about? You don't know what's in it. You don't know what's in anything. You're not a scientist. You don't know what's if in you anything. Eat, you take. if you eat Twinkies today, go get the shot. Don't nobody know what's in Twinkies. Everybody's got a shelf life for how long? Forever. If you eat by the sausages, <laughs> go get the shot. I see stuff like if you uh, if you drink out the when we were a kid, if you drink out the hose, out the hose, if you still out the hose, and you were the last one to drink out the hose, so that the whole everybody that had a drink, you the last one, go get the shot. <laughs> you don't know what's in nothing. <laughs> Quit acting like you're a scientist. Like, yeah, so, you know, like you know, oh, I don't know what's in that. Do you know what's in anything? You eat hot dogs. We just shut we, the hell off. We just, oh, and, and, <laughs> if you've been on, like, I, I kind of want to get a TikTok account just to see some of the the oh, strange God. stuff that I've been seeing on Instagram. People try to break down. See, see, they put this in there, right? Yeah. And and then the riboflavin and the chromosomes. <laughs> it's like this is not a scientist. <laughs> And then, and then they're like someone was doing that, and then they had like an actual scientist. scientist. They're like, "Oh, I see you now." They're like, "No, no that, that's, that's not, not what that right. is. That's, that's not right. That's not that's not how that works. Nope, that's wrong. No, nope, that's completely mm-hmm. wrong." They're like, oh, you almost. Oh no, oh, you know. He's like, like, "That's right." That's right. Okay, no, no, that's, no, no wrong. That. that's wrong. That's oh, wrong. Yeah. I tell you, man, it's terrible, man. We, we got hey, so yo, y'all got to cut this out with with all this uh with all this. I'm smart now, stuff. Yeah, we, you you were in a quest. You weren't in college prep. All right, so you don't know. All right, you weren't even in general studies. I you only, dropped out. I only Come remember on. one one part of the cell is the mitochondria. 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 I think that's the part that runs the whole cell. That's all I remember. You better so than the me. other. <laughs> you better than me. So I, I, I will not be able to tell you. How this how this works? You know what I mean. You better than I'll, I'll remember any of that. Hey, hey. So all right. So we got it. We, we we supposed to touch on the AFC East, NFC East. That's what we are supposed to touch on. Yes, I guess we'll talk a little so football. We, so we got ten minutes, I think. Right. So I I guess I got, we advertised it, so we got to talk it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be a man of your word, right? I, I, I'm just like, it's like if I tell you that. This is the reason why you brought me on. If here, I tell right? you to come out here and get some chicken, I got to get you chicken, <laughs> right? <laughs> Can't just keep giving you fish and pork. You, you, want, you want the big piece or the little piece? <laughs> I, I got you to give you what I advertise. <laughs> so, oh, man. All right, so we got we got Asa from DNA Sports on the show, half of DNA Sports. We never get both of y'all in the show. Nah, nah, we, you know. Why, why, why don't both of y'all come on at the same time? Don yeah. came on last week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why y'all never yeah. come on at the same time? Because like, it's like they don't never put the... The most important people on the on the same plane, yeah. like the vice president and the and the, and the, and the oh, president. Yeah, they, have, they, they, they both have their own plane. They got their own plane, so if one go down, somebody, somebody else can run it. You gotcha. know what I mean? So that's how, that's how we operate. That's how we operate. You know? I will take the good ass. The good ass. We'll take that. You one time we at the same time was on Mondays, seven and nine. I keep saying I'm going I keep saying I'm gonna invade the show. I'm hey, you're up. always I, welcome. I, the I, door I, is open. I am going to invade, brother. Anybody that wants to come in and sit down and you know enjoy yes, two right. hours of fun, holler at us. Um, right here on WWE eleven hundred AM Monday seven That's and nine right. PM. Even when we not here, it's gonna be a show on. So you know, um, always a good time and. Greg holds us down on the engineering part, so he keeps us keeps us tries to keep us straight as much as possible. Greg is a busy man, man. Yeah, yeah, Greg yeah, is a yeah. Greg is a busy man. G- uh, gave him the right name. I, I, Greg, <laughs> <laughs> Greg, I apologize for today, I know this morning and everything, but that's that, my bad, Greg. <laughs> I, I just figured, well, I knew when you knew. <laughs> you knew, when I knew. <laughs> we'll be we'll be back. I, I I'm not gonna plug I, I give a plug I'll give a plug later on. But yeah, we'll be back on Tuesday for that. But uh so we're in here for AFC East, NFC East. Yes, yes. So, right, so I'll know. let you start this one off. No problem. So I mean All right, so so I, I don't even know how, what do you what do you want to do? So I, how, 
Let's go straight to straight. in order. And so let's, how do you I mean, think it'll win? Let's, let's, go, let's start with the AFC East. The AFC East got the most noise recently. Okay. So you got Buffalo, New England, Miami, and the New York Jets. Okay. And obviously everybody knows about New England cutting Cam Newton. And All right. Go go with the rookie. Yeah. And so let's and, talk about the significant things. Yeah. Let's talk about the significant things that just, that that's happened with these. What, yeah. what anything significant happened with Buffalo over the mm, over this offseason? Nah. 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 I mean they 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 handle their business. They signed Josh. Um, um, that was his name, Josh Allen. Josh yeah. Allen to a long term. That's their quarterback of the future. Yeah. For now, in, in in the foreseeable future, I think they they did a good job in getting a backup in um my man from Chicago, Trubisky. Uh, Trubisky. What? What about what about uh, where Jake from? What about the best Georgia? The He's best on quarterback the practice squad. He's on the practice squad. The best quarterback ever in Georgia, according to some Georgia fans. You tell me. <laughs> Well, He's not the backup. And told Georgia was the championship, I wouldn't really take much information from there. And I know Rick's not here, but when you see this or whatever, so y'all win championship, I, I can't, you know what I mean? That's I, I don't listen to runner-ups too much. That, so uh, <laughs> that, that hurts me too. I don't listen to runner-ups too oh, much. So, you know, he's right where he needs to be on the practice squad. All right, so, um, so, but no, so I mean, so I think that's a good deal. Like this year is going to be an unusual year, 17 games. Yeah. It's going to be kind of interesting to see how – teams play you know mm -hmm. that extra game or two <clears throat> especially depending on when you get your uh your bye week because they yeah. still only got one bye week yeah so there's some teams bye week is what week four week five so now you're talking about 12 straight weeks that's a feel that's a full season yeah man that's terrible so man. you know so it'll be interesting to see how teams use you know deal with injuries but i also feel like how they use the backup quarterback if they have a good one. Okay. Like, you know, if you had, you know, so in this case with Buffalo, I, I suspect Buffalo to, you know, to go 12 and 5, 13 and 4. 12, 5, 13 and four. I feel like a couple of those games, they may sit sit Josh down and put Trubisky in. You okay. know what I mean? So. The meaningless <clears throat> games, more so. The, so most yeah, of the yeah, games. yeah. Or he only play a half and you put Trubisky in for the half yeah. just to get to the playoffs. Because then you're going to wind up having an extra week. Yeah. With because they have an extra wild card game, so now you wind up having an extra week okay. of of before your division game starts. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So <clears throat> it'll be interesting to see how coaches go there. So, but I got Buffalo winning the AFC East. What about the, what about all right? So what about the Jets? The Jets did anything? Jets, Jets, the Jets I mean, Jets, they, they drafted they, they, they drafted, drafted a quarterback, a young for the boy from uh, BYU. Yeah, I, I thought he, in my opinion, I thought he was the best out of the four. Okay, because he wasn't throwing to nobody. Yeah, and, and, and still putting up the numbers. Yeah, but yeah. the knock on them is that they didn't play anybody. Yeah, I get it. So I mean, listen, that was, was the knock on uh, on Jackson. Yeah, Louisville. Yeah, but they were two still games. in a, they were still in a Power Five conference. I get it. Okay, well, that was the knock on. That was the knock on my man down in uh, Prairie View. You know. R.I.P. Uh, uh, Steve, uh, uh, yeah, Steve McNair. McNair. Steve McNair. McNair. Alcorn. Now, granted, he's at Alcorn. 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 Alcorn, Alcorn, State. Alcorn. Alcorn State. <laughs> he was throwing for a thousand yards yeah. a game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, I, I feel like at the end of the day, you can put some of that on there. But the intangibles. I, but what, what I mean is that with with Wilson, they're an end like BYU's an independent, mm -hmm. and they didn't play anybody in the Power Five. Their biggest game of the year was against Coastal Coast Carolina, Carolina yeah. and they lost. Mm -hmm. Did he I'm just saying that was the knock on him. Did he lose the game? Did no. they get stopped at the one yard line? I mean, but when I say that he lose the game, like if I look at his stats, not watching the game, I look at his stats. Did he throw for three? Did he throw three three interceptions? You know, like did he cause? Did he cause the loss? Did he oh, cause I the have loss? No, idea. no I'm, I'm saying the answer to that is no. Okay, but uh, but, but did he win it? In, in that game, it's still like it. level that's of competition thing. I know you can say that with FCS guys like you, someone like a Carson Wentz or whatever. And he, so he's just fragile. And then think about everyone, and, but it, but once and, again though, everything about it. Is, but that's the reason why Trey Lance went so high because of Carson Wentz. I mean, Carson, and he played one game. One, <laughs> Trey Lance played one, one game, game last year. <laughs> you know what I mean? So <laughs> I I I feel like so in that case, you try and tell me who BYU played in Division One ball was not as good as who Trey Lance played in Division Two ball. Hey. As far as competition, I, I could, I, no way. I, so I, that's why I'm, that's why that's why I'm saying. Wilson from BYU to me out of the four quarterbacks was the best. Now I know people are going to say like I know my counterpart would be like Justin Fields and whatever. Nah, you know, I and, I, and I and I, I get that, but I'm just saying I didn't see I seen Justin Fields, his wide receivers got drafted. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's why that's why I used I that's used Jackson saying. from Louisville. His wide receivers didn't get drafted. Yeah. He was, there was nobody else on that offense. On, on the, oh, exactly. Yeah. So the same goes for, you know, he he wasn't his his 
parts around him were way less. I got you. You see and what I'm saying? So now, ima- yeah. So now imagine him yeah. now in the league with comparable parts around him. Gotcha. So I, I should say I feel like his ceiling out of the four was the highest. Okay, what about Miami? They want to get off Tua so bad. They don't want to do it themselves. You think they want to get rid of Tua? Oh, yeah. They got Brissett, and they brought in somebody else. If they could get Deshaun today, they would get Oh, yeah. They try, they, yeah, they might they trade could, for Deshaun. They could care less it's, about them eight games he's going to be suspended or a full year or whatever. They could get Deshaun today. If the Houston come down off their uh, off their asking price, yeah. they will sacrifice this season, send Tua to Houston or wherever. Is Tua break. that bad? No, I just think Tua got caught in a situation where you had change of coaching and when he got drafted, mm-hmm. and then no, he wasn't. No, they drafted. Flores him. was already there. Yeah, the coach he was, there, he was, there, was, he was there for a solid two seasons. But it was his first season. No, no, no. He was there for this, that was, this, it was his second season. This past this past season was his second season. Or was it his third? He's going into his third. He's going into his third. So. Now? It, did he draft Tua last year? Or yeah, he, yeah, no, he drafted Tua. Well, then I don't know what Tua did. Cause well, he, maybe, he, maybe he didn't draft I, He Tua. didn't draft they, Well, well I, I can understand Tua, that. He was there when Tua was drafted, though. He was there when yeah, Tua was drafted. Yeah, but I, I think I, I can see where you're going because if you look at last season, you expected Tua to eventually be the starter. Like, it happens in week six or seven and or something kept, like that. he kept pulling. But during the games, they would pull him but he was coming, and put in Fitzpatrick, is but then fair? start is him it, the next week. Is it fair because he's coming off an injury for one? Was that fair because he was coming no, off an injury? No, no, that's I don't think that's part of it. Then my thing was you, you should have let him heal this whole that whole season I, I, and then put in. Uh, that's why I'm saying they're not sold. They wouldn't. That's why I'm going to. I don't think that was Brian's decision. And a lot of times it's not. It's upper management. Yeah. But I feel at this. So I'm gonna go back to the RG3 scenario. Mm-hmm. The coaches didn't want RG3. The owner did. Yeah. And then look how look how look how the coaches treated RG3. Dang, I feel that's bad. how that's how I feel about Tua in Miami. The owners wanted Tua. Yeah. They wanted a, a splash, a number one pick. But the coach. And, but the coach wasn't like, nah, this ain't my dude. I want to go somewhere else. Now he can't come out publicly and say he want to go a different way. Yeah. Because he still knew himself, but the way they've treated to it was like that wasn't my guy. I was gonna, I would have gotten somebody else. I don't know why. I've never- or I would have stuck with Fitzpatrick, gave him a three year deal, and then found somebody in the draft the next couple of years. Fitzpatrick, I don't trust Fitzpatrick. No, I'm just saying at the time Fitzpatrick was there. Okay, I'm saying I would have. They seemed like to me they would have the co- coaching head yeah. coach saying, you know what, I would have gone ahead and signed Fitzpatrick to a three year deal. Then find somebody, find quarterbacks. Because at that time, you knew who was coming out. You knew Zach yeah. was coming out. You knew Trey. You know, you knew uh, Fitz was coming out. You knew From. You know, there were other guys that were coming out yeah. that you could have get. I believe ownership really wanted to, and not the head coach. And it's, it's a battle that two was caught in the middle. So, what do you feel? All right. So, back to the Jets. What do you think the Jets record would be? Uh, four and four and thirteen. Four and thirteen. Five and twelve. So picking low again this this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they got a new head coach too. They got the defensive coordinator from San Fran, who's the head coach now. Yeah. So they, they, they'll be he sounded tight. good, but they, I don't they'll trust be him. they'll be tight on the on the, actually what he'll bring to 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 the Jets is is, is stability. I think okay. you know what I mean. I, you know, he's never been a head coach, but you know you got to assume that the defense defense was decent last year. So not him being a defensive minded. I, I always wonder about that. Well, when you, I always wonder about when well, you bring in. Well, no, that's injuries. But see, well, I, I should say the year before. But my thing is, when you bring in last year with with but, Greg Williams. No, 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 no. I'm talking about. Well, the, the, I'm talking about the head the, coach from for the Jets now was with San Fran last year. Oh, you're talking about San Francisco's defense. Oh, I yeah, yeah, about no, the Jets no, no, defense. no. I'm talking about San Francisco. <laughs> San Francisco. See, I don't defense. trust. I don't trust bringing in a defensive head coach when you have a rookie quarterback. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I, I'm never I'm, a fan of that. Not me either. Me uh, either. Yeah, that's why I don't but see that this goes, being successful. That goes to that goes to the non-stability of yeah. the organization that, yeah, that's that, the Jets, that, that the Jets are. Yeah, I mean the Falcons, Jets. Matt Ryan, was, uh, Matt Ryan was successful with the Falcons with that. I understand that, but I don't. I just don't know. I, I don't trust the Jets organization. Oh, real quick, we're we're off the air. If you want to oh, kind of take your time. Oh shoot, okay. uh, we're going so with the, with the four and thirteen. Part. So four and thirteen. Four and thirteen. Four four. And four Five and twelve, four and thirteen for the Jets. Miami, I would have coming in at third, mm-hmm. um, somewhere between uh, seven and seven and was it seven, 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 seven and ten? Seven and ten. You know. Okay. Um, I probably know more than seven wins. 
Even with Waddle, you don't think what? What do you think Waddle's gonna do anything? Is he gonna be a change? He's not gonna be a game changer. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, again, we are they gonna let Tua un- rip it open? Or, I don't know. You know I, I, I need don't to, know. I, I mean, know. you would think they would try to find some kind of balance with their with their offense to kind of get it going. I mean, but who? I don't know how good Miles Gaskin is going to be yeah. running the ball. They got Malcolm Brown as well, mm-hmm. but at receiver, they're kind of deep. Devontae Parker. Uh, they have Will Fuller, but he's suspended. Yeah, from Houston. Um, Jalen Waddle, Albert Rookie. Wilson. I need Waddle to do Preston, something. He's Preston on my, Williams. He's on my fantasy team. Um, Alan Hearns is on IR. I don't know how effective he's actually going to be, but they're deep at receiver. Yeah. Okay. So he has at least receivers he has to, throw to. to throw again, to. Again, and, and, and Titan, they have Jasicki, who, who's pretty. Good. And again, who's who's Easy. Miami's backup now behind uh, Brissett, Jacoby Brissett. Oh, so again. Okay. Again, you're gonna have to play Tua. What they were doing to him last year, if he made a rough, uh, hit a rough patch, yeah. he either would pull him or not start him the next game. Now you got to grow with Tua. So he has to have. But they would pull if they did pull him. They would still start him. Start the next, next game. game. That's so it won't mess with that, his confidence. That, but that's yeah. dumb. Don't pull me. Don't start me. All, 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 all I'm saying is now we haven't seen Tua play a full. Uh, you know. We haven't seen two of play say like a like two or three full game, games, games yeah. back to back to back. So we don't know what we're gonna get. So I'm banking on he's still gonna have learning curves. Yeah, I'm banking on and you got to face New England now with a defensive mind that Belichick twice a, so twice now, a game so now go to, where he's gonna be able to basically trick. He's gonna be able to confuse a rookie quarterback. Yep. You know what I mean? Because two is still a rookie because he didn't play enough. To be considered, and he's got a, a he's going against a former assistant. They hardly they ever, ever beat, do, beat yeah. Belichick. <laughs> I think Mangini was the last person to beat Belichick. And then he got, yeah. and then after he beat him that one time and he ran his mouth, it was disastrous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Talk too much. And I got New England, New England at that five hundred, that new five hundred, nine, nine and eight, eight, nine and eight. They okay. might get ten wins, maybe. Okay. And then I got Buffalo at that 12 and 5, 13 and 4 mark. I wanted right. to ask you um, that I believe you, you you had texted this to me, but after Cam got released, that. Oh, I told you. You were saying they were going to be, even on the show, I think you had said they were going to fumble the quarterback situation. Yes. Uh, even before Cam was cut. Mm-hmm. So now it's Mac Jones, and the backup is Jared Stidham, who is out. So I, they got to be signing somebody else. Uh, they might bring Brian Hoyer back, who they also cut. So, are are they the only ones who are sold on Mac Jones? Or was it, uh, some people would say that, well, Cam wasn't reliable, especially after the misunderstanding this with the COVID. This is back history. to, we're talking about COVID. Mm-hmm. So, and as far as, it doesn't matter how much money you got, education or not educated, whatever. Cam... When I say he messed his bag up, Cam is fine. He ain't going to be broke no, time soon. Mean. But he messed up his bag as far as his short now career. Yeah. Because he refused to go get a test. Yeah. And this is the person that had already had it last year. Yeah. So you can't tell me he misunderstood what the rules were and what was going on. No. He, re- he was doing his own thing. So that's going to resonate more. When it comes to other teams, unless somebody's desperate, like maybe Denver, you know what I mean. But that only depends on how uh, young uh, Jeezy. Nah, um, nah. The quarterback. Uh, well, uh, I mean, no, young Jeezy. We call uh, Drew Lock. Drew Lock. Drew Lock we call is young Drew Lock Jeezy. white white Jeezy. <laughs> 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 um, but my man is starting for them. Yeah. Um, oh boy. Uh, oh, Bridge. Yeah. Teddy Bridge. Uh, Teddy, Teddy, Teddy Bridge. You know what I mean. But Bridgewater. You know, depending on how that plays, up, but pretty Teddy Bridgewater is fragile. You know what I mean. Yeah. So. He can get hurt, but I don't think that he. I he mean, made, he had he had that one that that one injury, and that was in practice. I don't think he's fragile, but I don't think he's. He doesn't. Uh, they're limited offensively with, with him, him, yeah, because he. I don't know if it's that he doesn't trust his arm or if it, he doesn't have a strong arm, but. They barely throw it down the field. I like I like him. Teddy Bridgewater. But he's the worst version of uh, of Tyrod. <laughs> well, Tyrod will at least run around. Yeah, I know, I know. So Teddy but, B does not. I like Teddy. He never did. Yeah. Yeah, but he's Bridgewater right never did. So I, I, I feel like I, I, I would I feel see like Teddy them, Bridgewater for a backup. Backup here in Atlanta. I feel, I feel like them releasing Cam was nothing about 
he had the job. It was about listen, because the NFL again yeah. about knowing what's going to happen. I agree with the you, NFL man. has already told you, and they showed it last year. You will lose and forfeit this game and not get a check if y'all come up with COVID. Yeah, ask Denver when they had to go get the off the street third on, string he, wide receiver he, he to was play on the quarterback. Practice squad. Yeah. He was on the practice squad he as a receiver. Hadn't played quarterback <laughs> since junior high, and they had him out there in the Just NFL running. game. Just you running. know what I mean? So the NFL is serious about this. So I think New England's like, you know what? We already I, lost I money think it last was more year. Like we can't trust you. Yeah, that's, that's, that's to what it do is. what you're supposed off to do. Off the field, off we the need field. to trust you off the field as well. Yeah. yeah. So NFC East now. So let's switch to the NFC East. So we got the first one to nine. <laughs> The first team to nine. I feel like it's been the first one to <laughs> nine for like the last 15 <laughs> should just, years. Should we just end it right there? Should it we was, just end the whole conversation? It was the, first, <laughs> it was the first one to nine when it was 16 games. <laughs> it's still the first like one, one year, nine. One year, <laughs> Dallas would win 13 games and lose the first playoff yeah. game. But then the other times, it was first one to nine. Yeah. Like when the Giants won those two Super Bowls, I think they were nine, nine and seven nine and both seven, times. Nine, yeah. Because Washington what? won it last year, the division well, the, is seven the and Eagles, nine. The Eagles were eleven and five. Yeah, I think when they won. Mm-hmm. But other than that, <laughs> nine and seven this, would win. But last year, seven and nine won it. Yeah. This, this is a train wreck. The rate. first one to nine. Who, who now? Who I don't think the A one? the NFC East is going to be as bad as we think it's going to be. The schedule doesn't fit them because they play the uh, AFC West, don't they? In the in the I think in so. the NFC and the a, either the AFC West or the AFC mm. North, either way, it's two strong divisions the, that they play. Yeah. So uh, it's the NFC South and the AFC West. Yes, oh, I don't, yeah, know, so yeah. I mean AFC South. No, I don't. I mean I don't NFC think South. Tough, no, you gotta play Tampa. Well, I'm, play talking about, I'm talking about the AFC West isn't that powerful. I, I see no, Kansas I think, City, but I don't nah. think Denver. I don't think Chargers. I don't think uh, no, Chargers going to be legit. You think so? The Raiders are a decent team. They are 500 team. There's there's okay. nobody in the in the in the AFC West that's going to be that's going to stink it up like you would find in the AFC South. Like you know, Houston's going to stink. I don't know about Denver. I lo- and I'm a Denver fan. I don't. I don't trust Denver's I, I defense is going to be there now. They may not be to score no points, but their defense yeah. will be there. Yeah. So first one to nine. I mean, I. I initially had said I'm a Washington football team fan. Mm-hmm. I like what we did. The defense is going to be solid. I actually, I want them to keep that name. I, I actually I, that's a whole other that's a whole other show, right? <laughs> I actually liked um, them getting Fitzpatrick, even though I know he's only still good for six or seven games. But I think we got we we have a run game, so we can limit. You know, we can he can lean on the run game. That's, yeah. that's Ron Rivera's staple anyway: defense and run the ball. Yeah. So they'll be in games. But the more I kept on thinking about it and I looked at um the Giants, the Giants to me is the team um that either gonna be gonna win ten plus games or gonna gonna win four games. Yeah, they helped the skeleton. Because it's all about Daniel Jones, but they've yeah. put around Jones, they put like they have a phenomenal offense as far as on paper. Uh you get you get Bur- you get Barkley back. They got Galloway, right? Um, Galladay. 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 Um, uh, uh, they had they picked up somebody else at the wide receiver. They uh, they they brought in. Oh, um, they drafted Kadarius Tony. Yes. Okay. Uh, they got Sterling Shepard. Mm-hmm. Uh, they brought in John Ross. Maybe this is the year no. he puts it all together. Yeah. But no. he's on IR, so who knows? No. Um, Evan Ingram is there. Uh, Kyle. They picked up Kyle Rudolph. Did they keep um? Did they keep? Did they, did they keep old boy? Um, he was with Detroit for a couple of years, and he came over there. Um, no, Golden Tate. Yeah, did they keep Tate? No, no Tate, Tate is on. Um, okay, Tate left. Okay. Yeah, Tate's gone. Yeah, but I like I like their offense. Okay. And and I mean, we talked about it on the show. Gray doesn't like the the coach Judge, but I think I they like the I either. think they bought into him though. That's that's the that's he's a high school coach. But they've. It that's doesn't. Like that, that's like between who was that? D- Detroit, got Detroit, the one has that crazy coach. Yeah, talking about taking oh. t- t- kneecap. Man, Campbell. Yeah, Man Campbell. isn't them and, and the Eagles are also the ones? Is the Eagles and Detroit who has who yeah, has the crazy Eagles, Eagles high? Eagles high. Hired, uh, uh, the scout boy. Yeah, I think both of them are like like the weird coach, man. Something like. But who's a quality control coach? Some, yeah, quality yeah, stuff. Two man. years yeah. ago, or whatever. But the much as Gray doesn't like him, they bought into him. Like toward the end of last year, they bought into what they bought into what they say what the rock is cooking. <laughs> you smell what the rock is cooking. They they bought in they bought into old boy. So with that be outside of everybody else in the in the in the NFC, 
I don't think McCarthy's a good fit, and I thought he was going to be a good fit with the Cowboys. I don't think McCarthy's a good fit, <laughs> yeah. and he might not make it this year. I think it's going to be the higher, but yeah. Yeah, so we understand what, what Ron brings to the Washington football team, yeah. but this we've seen what his limitations as a head coach is at Carolina. Mm-hmm. He's going to have that one year where he's going to strike gold. Mm-hmm. It might be this year. It might be next year, but he's mainly – Defensive minded and run the football, but that, the defense, that, the defense is well on paper, they could be one of the best in the league. Yeah, but oh, can, but can that, but can that defense carry you now for an but extra game? But can the game? offense? Can the offense score? Score. Which, which, yeah. which team are we talking about? Washington. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like Washington's yeah. defense. I, I I do too, but I just don't know. Are they world shutters? You know, like it's like yeah. so. Imagine the eighty five Bears. Imagine they had to play that one more game. Yeah. You know what I mean at that level. Yeah. Imagine you know the, they, yeah. um, imagine the Ravens and they had to play one more game yeah. at that level. Gonna, like this extra game, going to take a toll on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't. I'm not banking on that. So you don't think so? You don't think McCarthy is going to make it through the season? No, 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 no. I think I think when Dallas is Dallas is three and five, <laughs> <laughs> does Quinn take over? I'll, it no, it's not gonna be Quinn. It's, it's be gonna Quinn? be Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, They've God, been grooming, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Kellen Moore said no to another job two years ago, didn't he? Somebody else was asking him to. No, come it was. Over um, what was it? It was last year. I think he was. Um, I don't think he was being offered the head coaching job, but it would have been an office coordinator job. If off, he was office coordinator with the NFL, but then there was a, co- a big time college oh, Boise program. State. Boise State was Boise looking State to bring him because back because their coach went to Auburn. Well, yeah, uh-huh. we we're going to bring him back. He said no to that. Now going to college where you got full control and you know what I mean. Yeah. And, and somebody must promise you something. Exactly. Somebody promise you something. Exactly. Yeah. In Dallas yeah. compared to Boise State, I'm staying in Dallas too. If I've been <laughs> promised to, <laughs> yeah, but he went to Boise State. He would have been the I, king of Boise. Yeah, but it's still. Potatoes, whatever you want. The king of Boise <laughs> is not better than the assistant at Dallas. Exactly. exactly. Potatoes ain't better than oil. <laughs> I'm not saying he should have taken the job, but so, I can see the appeal. No, yeah. no some so, things I'd rather be the assistant of than Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I, some places. So, to your point. Yeah, if McCarthy's out of here midseason or whatever. Kellen Moore step in, or even if he he'll be you know interim coach. Uh, what's my man that was here that's there now? Quinn. Uh, Quinn. They'll they'll share responsibilities okay. until you know the end of the season because if they got to fire a coach, the season's a wash. Yeah, good. <laughs> I think I think Quinn so, Quinn is Quinn is gonna do a terrible job yeah. with that defense. I, no, I, 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 he's he's, he's trying I, because he's he's brought in if. If you played for him in Atlanta he you there. or Seattle, Seattle, you got a job. You got a job. Yeah, he's terrible, man. Because he brought in Keanu Neal. Oh, he brought in KZ. Um, Did he get Vic and Tech? Who? He didn't get Vic and Tech, did he? No. Okay. Um, if he got Vic and Tech, I Tack, like Tack went to the Browns. I bet he got cut, though. And I... No, Tack Tack's on the team. He made. I team. thought they cut him. No, he made the team. Uh, the person okay. he probably the now he had went and got number forty four. Now, I, yeah, I don't know where Vic is right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, Vic is. Like, he got. He had pulled in forty four. Because I know he was on the Titans. Yeah, they cut. They cut him before the season was over. Did Tack make Tack made the Tack made the team. I thought he yeah, got yeah, cut. Yeah, Vic, Vic is still a free agent. I thought yeah, Tack. Yeah, I thought yeah, Tack. Yeah. I thought Tack. Now you know if your boy can't bring you in, Vic. I right, listen. I talking you about know a, what, man. He he got to be the biggest bust in the last we ten keep, years. As we far keep as trying to make no, man. we keep trying to make Randy Gregory and, happen. And this is and this is this is Vic <laughs> trying to Dallas, make Dallas Randy does. Gregory happen. Dallas, yeah, they do. Dallas does. What? Dallas keeps trying to make Randy Gregory. Yeah, that's Gregory. what I'm saying. And they yeah. won't bring in Vic Beasley. And they won't bring. In <laughs> I like Randy. I wanted us Vic to get Randy Beasley. Is the, he's the biggest I, bust in the last I, ten years. I wanted the Falcons to draft Randy Gregory over Vic. Like I didn't want them to draft Randy Gregory before Vic Beasley. But I wanted them to draft one. I wanted them to go Todd Gurley. Two, I wanted them to get Randy uh, Randy Gregory. And three, I wanted to get the, them to get that uh, tackle that uh, Dallas ended up getting. But I think that's like I'm at the. I know we're talking about the NFC East and the AFC East, but going back to now, just because we said Falcons yeah. real quick, that made me think about that draft and think about how over the drafts that uh, Thomas had while he was here. How many how many first round draft picks that we had that actually stayed on this team? Zero. 
Like, oh, no, my bad. Jones like and, Julio Matt Ryan and Matt Ryan. <laughs> Julio, Julio, Matt Ryan, and the uh, tackle. What's the last tackle we had? Oh, uh, Matthews. 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 I think it's like three. Trufant. Trufant stayed around for a while. I get full. Like yeah, I, like I'm saying that, that that's past and, 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 that was past their first and, contract. And, and, in other words, you saying well, that actually, he had, you can he, include a Keanu Neal in that. Too. He didn't go past his first contract. We didn't keep, and, keep on past. And, and, in other words, that's in me. other words, in other words, you saying he ain't did a good job. I it, it, it didn't do a good job. That's me. That's I think, that might be me. Oh oh oh. I mean, <laughs> uh, that, <that's laughs> I'm looking around. That's letting me know. That's letting me know that it's time to wrap up the show. <laughs> you get you you, you get your get, getting your come home call. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't even know what that is right there. Hold it. I ain't got my phone on. I'm on the air. You can't call me when I'm on the air. I slide it up. Hey, but yo, we got to get ready to get out of here anyway. But, um, <laughs> hey, brother, appreciate you for coming hey, in. Hey, man, so, thanks for having me in, man. Once again, tell the folks where they can find you at and when you they can find you. You can find, can find DNA Sports Talk each and every Monday, 7 to 9 p.m. on WWE 1100 AM. And if you want to follow us on all social media, just put in DNA Sports Talk. Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, uh, Snapchat. We all on, on it all. Yes, sir. Greg, where can they find you when they can find you? Uh, you can find me all over the internet. All over the internet. <laughs> Go to Pornhub. I know. I know. <laughs> You are you are only fan. Only fan. You are only fans, Greg. <laughs> Go to Greg's only fans. <laughs> I'm mad we both know it. Make sure you, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Have a, uh, What's the cash app handle? <laughs> Chocolate 103. <laughs> on, uh, I'm for my streaming somewhere almost every day uh, except Saturdays. But um, DNA Sports Talk on Monday, Horse Formation on Tuesday, yes. Sports Roundtable yes. on, on Wednesday, every Medical day. Minutes with uh, Dr. Carissa on Thursdays, and <laughs> Talking random ish oh, here on Friday. Yes, and then on OnlyFans, dollar sign yeah. WWE eleven hundred AM. His handle. A, that's his handle. His handle is that's the OnlyFans handle. <laughs> his handle is sexy chocolate and Kanye's. <laughs> Sex, sexy chocolate and Kanye's. <laughs> oh man, hilarious. Hey, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Get out our shop is closed. <laughs>